morning Southland Academy. It is Friday morning, October 23rd. I want to thank so many of you uh, parents who've taken the opportunity to fill out a parent opinion survey. Uh, that's online and uh, we want to encourage you to do so. If you haven't, uh, that survey will be open and going through uh, this upcoming Monday on the 26th. Uh, this email uh, will also have an additional link uh, so you can find that uh, opportunity a little bit easier. Uh, a couple of observations uh, for the first couple of weeks of the school year. Um, obviously, from time to time, it's um, needed for students to be absent uh, other than for a, an illness. And so, parents, if you could help us by communicating before the absence uh, when you need your child to, to miss school, that would be very helpful. And so in fifth grade and below, if you'll just communicate that to their uh, homeroom teacher and then middle and high school students, uh, that should be communicated through uh, Mr. Humphrey's office. So if you could just help us with some of those advanced absences in terms of logistics and things of that nature, that'd be great. Also, uh, if you have a lower school student and you come through uh, lower school carpool, uh, would you please try to make sure if you present this in somewhere pretty noticeable uh, on your mirror or somewhere up front. Uh, that helps us. We have different teachers each day uh, calling out carpool and that will just help uh, move everyone along a little bit quicker. Uh, if you lost yours or uh, maybe you have more than one person picking up on a regular basis, just let us know and uh, we'll get you a second card uh, as well. Uh, next week is homecoming and so hopefully you've received a lot of information about that uh, also within this email will be a couple of points uh, to talk about uh, and refer back to each day we have a different dress up day um, we will have a motorcade uh, this Thursday weather permitting uh, we will begin at 4 30 uh, should finish up about 5 15 or so going through most of downtown uh, we do ask that if um, you have uh, an entry, please make sure uh, that's been approved by the administration. This year with COVID, we wanna make sure uh, our students are spread out uh, in terms of those trucks or trailers or vehicles, and also that students are wearing masks during the motorcade. Uh, we will have a school-wide pep rally immediately after the motorcade. Uh, 5.30 at the football field on Thursday. And then Friday morning at 8.30, we'll have a lower school pep rally also out at the football field. And then ending the school day, we'll have our uh, high school powder puff football game uh, last period. That'll be about 2.25 that afternoon. Of course, the game is at 7.30. At halftime, we'll announce our homecoming court. After the game, our high school student government will sponsor a post-game tailgate. This will be a very casual event, uh, but we'll allow our students to do some socializing. So after the crowd is kind of cleared, uh, probably 15, 20 minutes after the game, our only our high school students will be allowed onto the field. We'll have designated areas by grade for food. The food will be provided. Uh, students should just wear whatever they would wear to the game. So they don't need to get dressed up or anything of that nature. Uh, just come kind of as you are. And so that'll end about 11.30. Uh, and again, so everything really will be taken care of, food will be provided, be right there on our football field, casual attire uh, over at 1130. Uh, also, uh, just in terms of our protocols, it's been a little while since we hosted a home football game. And so remember, all of our tickets should be done pre-sale. And so no tickets will be sold at the gate. Our students will be given a ticket if they're attending. Um, Booster Club, Raider Club members, your pass gets you into the game. But if you need to purchase a, a ticket, please make sure you do so prior to through our office. And so that'll be the case for the next three weeks. Uh, also in terms of sales, I uh, hope that you'll participate with our Raider Club reverse raffle. You have a few more weeks to purchase, purchase a ticket. They're $50 with a chance of winning $5,000. That deadline is Monday, November the 9th. Um, it, it seems like our school year is going well. We're very pleased with uh, the amount of time we've been able to be in class. Uh, we feel like we're doing a good job. However, every now and then to uh, reassure ourselves, uh, we'd like to ask people questions so we can have some, some polling, if you will. And so uh, this past couple of weeks, we asked our high school students uh, to answer a couple of questions, uh, one of which was, 
how well do you think the school year has gone? And over 92% of our high school students who responded to the um, survey, which is over 60 of our students, 92% said the school year has gone well. And so um, that really is reassuring that our students feel like uh, the school year is going well. Uh, we don't want to stop what we're doing. We want the school year to get even better. But I was really pleased that our students, our high school students, uh, by the large majority, thought the school year is going well. So that's very encouraging. And parents, I want to encourage you and thank you for your support. We hope that you have a great weekend. We're looking forward to uh, an out-of-town football game tonight. You can catch that live stream through Gatewood's Facebook page or our local radio station. And then we'll be excited to celebrate homecoming each day next week. Hope you have a great weekend. Go Raiders.